My name is Seat and I'm a Chief Digital Strategist in Grundfos and I work with ventures, everything to do with internal ventures but also collaborating with external startups and venturing in, in a broad sense. Actually, I was one of the idea persons behind getting IoT Week to Aarhus. So if I was not here today, that would be really weird, right? <laughs> so so we, we were really a few believers that thought IoT Week should come to Aarhus. And a year after, we're here. It's, it's like a mindset, right? So instead of talking about problems all the time, let's talk about solutions. Another way is the innovation height. Instead of maybe tweaking something, let's try to think a little bit more out of the box, you know, not only a product but a service, not only selling, but try to rethink the business model. A few reasons. One is that I think startups has a much higher or faster clock speed of innovating. So a startup will push three versions of a software or a hardware uh, product. Uh, while a corporate will do maybe one. The other thing is that startups are really doing some fantastic things, right? And we cannot do everything alone. So why not partner up with startups where we can benefit of each other? I'm more a radical guy and I will go for more transformative innovation. So new business models going from product to service. Lately we're doing it also in looking into platforms and we have a project that says okay what if we should do a platform how would that look like? So what would be the Uber for water you know? So those type of things very radical transformative that is where my heart is and that's what I like to do. I think the startups will find a true company that has sustainability as core of what we do. And we invite startups that also believe in those to come work together with us in solving these super big challenges for humanity. The second part, I think Grunfos has a strong brand within the industrial world where we can open up a lot of doors for startups, give them a much broader reach to potential customers, partners, etc. So that's something we can, uh, we can uh, do as well. I think one component is the AI part of how you do the search, so the AI component of helping you hone the search. You know, we have a dialogue, we, you come up with some proposals, we'll give you some feedback and then you have the AI engine to kind of make it better and better. And I think the more you get of those feedbacks, the more the AI will grow and be better and better. So I think it's just a, a self-enforcing mechanism, right? And I think that's kind of core of your tech. The other thing we like to do is you're, you're just really down to earth super helpful, super service-minded company and it's very easy to, to do business with. I think Valier has been very, really pivotal in giving us the opportunity to map out a space relatively quickly and find out a top 10 startups that we would like to have a deeper dialogue with. I think it's, it's really been a kind of a, a fast progress for us, a fast way of doing discovery. I think SDGs has finally given a lot of the corporate world a kind of framework to understand sustainability on a much, much bigger level. So instead of thinking of CSR or doing something here, doing something there, now you have a framework that has been agreed on a UN level uh, and you have metrics to follow. And so you can say, okay, if I really believe in this and I really want to have sustainability as core, part of my core business, you have the framework, you can single out a few of the SDGs, or only one or more, depending on how big company you are and really go go for it. I think we'll see much more IoT coming in and creating that digital layer, connecting the different parts that have not been connected before and that will truly change the way business is going to be done.